So here in central Washington right now, it gets dark at like 5 o'clock, and it's raining outside. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so instead of doing siding like we'd like to be working on right now, we are replacing the door in the back of the garage. Would you like to start pounding away again? Go ahead. <laughs> We're actually hoping to install two doors this weekend. We're spending the night tonight. We're gonna try and do this door tonight. And then we've got a double door um, that we'd like to put in in the morning, hopefully when the weather's a little nicer. We got this puppy from Home Depot. It's just a standard exterior steel door for 150 bucks. Look how awesomely straight this thing is. <laughs> we just gotta fix that real quick. You guys all set up in here? Good night. Good night. <laughs> We're starting on door number two this morning, which is going right where that window is. We're gonna take that out and put in a French door, really pretty window French door right there. And it looks like it should be pretty easy because that window is a five foot window and they put it at the same height as their doors, which means that we should just be able to, if the wall was framed correctly, cross your fingers, we should just be able to take out that bottom section and pull the window out and slide the door right in without too much trouble. We do have a baseboard heater down at the bottom that he's working on getting out right now, but hopefully we don't find any other surprises when we open up that wall. I think that's it. Oh, that's it right there. right here is where that door will come out so covered area this will be our outdoor eating area and that door goes into the garage got it all cut out that space is ready put the door in we got this beauty from Home Depot for 600 bucks it's a five by what's standard height 80 inches 
five feet by 80 inches. You can get five foot doors, you can get the wider ones. This is about as skinny as they make them unless you special order them. 600 bucks, not bad. We're using our trusty little easy hang hangers again. This is the first time we'll be using them on, on an exterior door, so we'll see how we like them on the exterior door. Very good, buddy. <laughs> uh, but if you'd like an easy hang tutorial, you can check out my easy hang tutorial video uh, where we did the whole thing in detail on how you hang a door. We're just gonna do it real quick on this double door and see how we like it for a big exterior door. We got the door in and the easy hangers worked nicely but we actually only used them on this side um, the opening was quite large for our door so we had to fill in this side a bit with um, some extra material and so we just ended up screwing through the wall it always takes a little while to make sure everything is perfectly level and plumb so that the door works the right way and then we went ahead and got the foam in there and now what he's doing is drilling the holes so that the stationary door can latch and stay closed. And then we're going to go ahead and stick the doorknobs on. And then this will be ready for trim to make it all look pretty. <laughs> Pull hard. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Everybody's looking pretty beat after a long 24 hours of the fix and flip. Hi guys. <laughs> Everybody's watching a movie. We got the back door finished. So that was a total of about 650 bucks after we added the, the doorknob and the deadbolt. This door still needs a doorknob. $150. Plus the doorknob will run us another 40 with a deadbolt. This door was the other day. It was completely free because it was already here, including the brand new doorknob and deadbolt. So we just have one more exterior door, which is the back door to replace. So that'll be another $150 plus $40 for the, for the doorknob and the deadbolt. So for our exterior doors, our total is going to run us just a little over $1,000. And each door only took a couple hours to put in. The worst of them, maybe three or four hours. But that's all for today. We're out. See you next time.